For this video I'm going to be showing you how to take a casting of the face. The products I'm using is alginate, plaster bandages, water, cling film, a little bit of latex and plaster for the mould. Be sure to prep everything in advance, have more water at the side in case you're going to need it and make sure your bandages are cut at different sizes. If you're not working in a studio and you're working at home, make sure you put dust sheets down, cover your shoes and cover all your clothes. You can use a swim cap or a ball cap for this, um, we're just using cling film. If you need to, you can gel the hair flat to begin with. I'm applying a little bit of eyelash glue, liquid latex, just around um, the forehead where I'm going to apply the cling film. And I'm just going to make sure the edging just lays flat over that. And then pull the cling film back really tight, just so you just get a nice smooth finish to the head. You can cut any excess cling film around the front if need be. If you're using a male model, make sure they shave their face first. Then you want to protect the brow hair and the eyelashes. For this I'm just using my model's um, Nivea for men. You can use any cream, E45. Apply it thick enough that it coats all the hairs, but uh, you don't want to put it on too thick. Obviously you want to still be able to take an impression of the brows. Once the prep's done, it's really important before you start to um, work out with your model a hand sign that they can put their hand up to say they're either panicking, they're not comfortable, and you need to constantly ask them if they're okay. It's really common for people to panic when this is happening, so be aware of what's going on and you'll see, as I did film it, it's really easy to pull the alginate off your face. This alginate has a five minute curing time. And I think we used a 2 to 1 ratio with the water, but any alginate that you buy comes with directions to it. Just make sure you mix it really fast, try and get as many lumps out as possible, and then start by working around the nose, because you're not going to be using straws to clear the nostrils. You're literally going to work around the nostrils first, let that start to set, and then work on top of the um, applying the alginate to the top of the head. And as it comes down the face, you want to work it into the eye sockets. You want to get all the impressions right around the eyes, everywhere on the face really but once that nose part is set then you can keep an eye that as the alginate slips down the face that it won't be going across those nostril holes that have already set. If the water you're mixing with the alginate is too warm it will cure too quick so ideally you want to use a cooler water but you don't want to shock your model obviously so just bear that in mind. So as you can see as it slides down the face I'm pushing it off around those nostril holes be sure to push it right into the lips to take a good impression and take it around the sides of the face and around the neck and across the chin everywhere as it starts to cure you'll find it comes back off with your hands so you just want to make sure any um, little holes and crevices are filled again now remember you need to keep asking if your model's okay if they're not this is how quick it is to pull the alginate off just pull it from one side to the other and it comes off no problem if that should happen reapply the um, moisturizer etc and then go again After a few minutes the alginate's completely set, it's then time to work on top of that with the plaster bandages. I'll start off by doing the bridge of the nose and down just the centre between the nostrils. This is why it's really important to have prepped your plaster bandages and having small sections, larger ones and then even longer ones for the edging. Once you've placed the plaster bandage in the position you want it, just use your fingers to smooth out all those little tiny holes because when it dries that will be what makes it really solid. There are some formations you can look up on Google on how to apply these. Uh, you need to overlap the bandages in order to form a nice solid mask. When you dip the plaster bandage into the water, make sure you wring out the excess water before applying it. It's important to do layer after layer because you need this to be really solid for when you pour the plaster in, otherwise it will warp. So you need at least 10 layers, I'd say. I mean, I went over it and over it again. Remember to keep asking if your model is okay. This is really important at this stage. Again, if they are panicking, this is easy enough to get off. You just get them to lean forward and wiggle their face. Coating the sides and the neck is really important as this is going to be the wall that stops the plaster pushing. As that dries, it will go really hot. And then once it's ready to come off, you'll know it's be really hard and it'll have cooled down a bit. Get your model to lean forward and put the mask in their hands and then wiggle their face. And it should just slip off easy as that. You can already see the alginate takes a fantastic impression. You need to fill the nostrils in. You can either use more alginate pushing it in from the back of the mask um, or you can use clay, I always just use clay because it's simple than mixing up more alginate. You need to balance the cast now for the plaster to go into. You can either use a clay wall or um, a box which we're using um, and we've also filled it with some uh, bubble wrap to stop it from moving. You can see I've applied a little bit of clay to the neck where the alginate tore a little. 
you want to pour a puddle of plaster in and work it in with your fingers just to make sure it coats everywhere and there's no air bubbles. Then pour in the remaining plaster and as you can see you need to bang the mask down just to relieve all the air bubbles that are sitting inside and then just use your finger to pop them. If there isn't enough plaster you just need to make up some more and then try not to pour it too high of a distance because you don't want to create more bubbles. Just do it gently until you fill it up. Try to take it as high as the neck and then that will give you an, as much of a full face as possible. Just give the cast a little tap around the sides and stuff just to relieve any bubbles. Within two hours that should set and you can prize your cast out. Have fun face casting!